We're going to add another circle down here. Now, on this one, it's since we have a circle, we don't really have to worry about the doming area. We're just going to leave it domed. Let's see if I can get a little bit less. I'm trying to get it less more focused because it seems to be blurry today. Okay, good. Is that better? Okay. My glasses are blurry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in another circle here. And then we're going to take and add in a cone shape. We're going to add in a little stick. And we'll add in an ear. You're good. So we'll <coughs> add his eyes in. Now his nose comes, it's actually this, it's a weird shape because it goes down and then down the side. And then his nose is up here, and you can kind of add in his mouth area. Now, he looks weird without another ear, so let's help him out here. Now, here's the part that most people would panic on whenever they looked at him, the, the slinky part. But what we're going to start with is we're just going to start by making two lines. And you would erase these lines as you go later on. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to create lots and lots of lines. And you want them to actually kind of bunch up down here in the middle. So you would make all of these little lines and that gives you the illusion that he has that slinky body. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to add in a few on the other edge. Does that make sense? So it's as if you can see it going in that rotation. And we'll do that also on the bottom part. And notice that I'm not doing it for all of them. I'm just picking them randomly to do that because your mind fixes the rest of it. Now let's add his paws real quick. So we're going to have this little shape down here. And there's Paul number one. Paul number two comes off of this side of the leg. Notice that it makes it look like it goes around the corner. And then we're going to create more of a flat shape. And then we need to create pole number three. Now notice that as I put my poles here, these poles are here, but I'm going to take and kind of, and you don't have to put that line, but you can see that that's where my back pole is going to be. And we're going to create kind of a butt shape here. And that little leg piece. And then we add in the thick part of his leg. Now I'm going to add in just an L shape over there and that implies that his other leg is back there but we don't have to draw it. And last but not least we're going to create that cone shape and then we just add in those lines again. That gives us the illusion that it is swirling. Okay? I am not going to shade today. That's enough for the time-wise. But if you want to shade it, you can. <laughs> 